Whoa! Welcome back, guys. I'm so excited. I'm like really, really feeling wicked because this arrived in the mail today. This is for the doggies, well, especially for this one here. This energetic puppy. You know, time to burn some of the energy. So, this one will have a good night's rest when he's like, you know, sometimes getting too much. Anyway, we got the wicked bow. Before I digress, let's open this and we're gonna do a review. Here we go, guys. Fresh from the mail. Woo, Masha! He's excited, I know. Oh, he's already having a go at it. Oh, sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know this is like gonna be so worth it. So, what we'll do is we'll open it up and then, yeah, we'll probably have to charge it. And there it is. There is the wicked bone. So, yeah, this is app controlled. You can download the app and stuff. And uh, apparently, it's it can last four hours and forty minutes on drive mode. So excited! Okay, let's do an unboxing. Come on, guys! Basha, you gonna help me, Ellie? I think it's more excited with the bubble wrap. The bubble wrap. I don't know. I've noticed lately that he likes chewing on it. Maybe the popping noises and stuff. What do you think guys? Oh, hot tip! Never ever throw away the boxes. Just in case it doesn't work out for your dog. Then you can resell it later on. You know. I um, I learned that lesson. That's why I hold a lot of boxes. FYI, this is, if you watched our other video with the cheerable, it's the same, same one. So we had the wicked ball and now this is the wicked ball. Look at that. That's brand new. Brand spanking new. Okay, I've downloaded the app now and it's fully charged. This thing is ready to go. But this is our app and it's got all the instruction there how to connect it. So we'll just press. You also have your UC guide in if you wanted some more reference but it's all self-explanatory you know like shows you there how to connect it and how to control it through the app using your phone and how to operate I guess yeah this is pretty useful if it's your first time using it so I had a quick look at it earlier so hopefully uh, yeah we'll use it with ease all right, we're hooked up already. That is so quick. And it's reacting. Here we go. See that? And, and the puppy, I haven't even called him yet. And he's already looking. <laughs> you can do so many gestures here. As you can see. You can do roll forward, turn around. See, you can do a backflip. Oh, let's let's do a backflip. I want to see that. Whoa! It's very similar to the ball. Turn around. Oh! You can also manually move it using this. It's like a touchpad almost. Come on, doggies, do something. Oops. May have been stuck. <laughs> Let's respawn it. I also do an interactive mode. I think this is like, you know, like if you. I've seen the ad before, like if you're doing something, like if you're busy and stuff, then it will just do its own thing and play with the with your dog.
Try to install the trusty Kmart pet back extender from the seat. So this has always been Basha's problem. Like whenever we're going for a drive, she'd sometimes fall in the middle here somewhere. And yeah, I think we're gonna try that out today. This extender from Kmart. Oh. All right, guys. Looks looks like it's problem solved for this cutie. See, she's got all her paws there, and she's not moving, and she can comfortably sit down. And on, she was even lying down before. So we will see once we start moving the vehicle whether she's gonna stay put. Because the problem is she usually slides slides down when we're driving or there's motion all of a sudden I hit the brake. A lot of the times I say sorry to you, isn't it doggy? And she has to move her arm brakes. Yeah, and he how cool is this? You even have this barrier in here so they can't go in the middle. And so safety and see the puppy's already comfortable. Okay, let's go. So impressed with the doggy. She got her tracks on. That is some good traction, Basha. Not even sliding off, not falling in the middle, you're not on the ground. Okay, I wanna be gentle with my driving, but just be normal. So yeah. I can see that Basha is pretty good. I think it really helped her. It's making a big difference to you, doggy, and not? See? That bump they usually you would have like moved stuff. Okay. Alright. <laughs> um she's alright. Just got there. And this is also good. The only downside is if you have side airbags, you can't really put the middle strap because it goes supposed to go in the middle here somewhere or down there. But for safety, we can't compromise that if something happens and the airbags deploy on the side, on the seat. Oh, what's happened to the other dog? He's a bit annoyed with the strap. Yeah. He can't or he's is Basha backing off at him? Nah, he's just not used to it. Yeah. She, right she looks happy. Making a lot of difference. He's not going everywhere. Yeah, yeah she's not flying off the, the chairs, the seats. No. I think that's all what, you know, like you just needed a wide seat. Or some dogs, I see them, they put them in the back, like in the, in the cabin. Ah, uh, not in the cabin, sorry, in the, you know, the boot. Yeah, but if you have like a four-wheel drive SUV, it's What's happening to them? They're sort of restless. 